Electric vehicles are becoming more popular, but they still have many drawbacks. And one of the biggest drawbacks is charging time. Today, being able to top off your battery in just 10 minutes is more or less a dream. Waiting for your electric vehicle to charge can be a pain, but what if that wait time could be slashed dramatically? Well, Cattle and BID are developing new batteries that can revolutionize charging times, allowing you to get back on the road in a fraction of the current time. So, what kind of batteries have these two just unveiled? And what does this mean for the EV industry? Join us as we discuss this and more. Electric car owners in China and potentially around the world are on the cusp of a charging revolution. Currently, some Chinese EVs are boasting batteries with a 5C charging rate meaning they can be charged to near capacity in just over an hour. This is a significant improvement over traditional charging times. But hold on to your hats. Two leading Chinese battery manufacturers, KTL and BID, are already locked in a race to develop the next generation of even faster charging batteries. According to a local news report from June 12th, Cattle is gearing up to launch the second generation of their Kilin battery in the latter half of 2024. This groundbreaking technology boasts a staggering 6C charging rate, translating to potentially charging your car battery in as little as 10 minutes. This would be a monumental leap forward, drastically reducing charging times and potentially eliminating range anxiety, a major concern for many electric car owners who fear running out of power before reaching their destination. Meanwhile, BYD, Another titan in the battery industry hasn't released any new products in recent years. However, reports suggest they're not resting on their laurels. Whispers in the industry indicate they're also developing a second generation of their Blade battery, specifically designed for faster charging. It's even possible they're aiming to match Cadiel's ambitious 6C charging rate. This fierce competition between the two giants is great news for electric car manufacturers and, ultimately, for consumers. This battery revolution that the electric vehicle industry is experiencing started with Cattle's recent launch of the Shengxing battery, boasting a remarkable 5C charging rate. This translates to a mind-blowing 11.5-minute charge from 10% to 80% for compatible EVs like the Zeker 001. This rapid charging capability significantly reduces the time spent waiting at charging stations a major pain point for many EV owners. Additionally, the Shengxing battery offers a practical advantage. A quick top-up can provide an extra 472 kilometers of range based on the CLTC standard. Cattle's strategy seems two-pronged. The Shengxing utilizes lithium iron phosphate, LFP chemistry, known for its stability and long lifespan, making it ideal for everyday commutes where fast charging is a priority. However, they didn't stop there. In April 2024, they unveiled the Shengxing Plus, boasting an impressive 205 WH key gym energy density. This translates to a potential 1,000 kilometers range on a single charge, a dream for long-distance travel. Interestingly, the Shengxing Plus prioritizes range over charging speed, offering a slightly slower 4C rate. This suggests Cattle might be catering to different market segments, the Shengxing for fast charging convenience and the Shengxing Plus for extended range capability. While Cattle aggressively pushes the boundaries of charging speed, BYD appears to be taking a more measured approach. Currently, none of their EV models support charging rates above 4C. However, their cautious approach shouldn't be misconstrued as falling behind. BYD is known for prioritizing thorough testing and ensuring their technology is production-ready before making announcements. They might be focusing on refining existing technologies for better efficiency and safety before venturing into the ultra-fast charging realm like KTL. Additionally, BID might be strategically waiting to see how the market reacts to KTL's aggressive push and potential infrastructure challenges associated with such high charging speeds. Has the competition between KTL and BID is undoubtedly positive for the EV industry. It fosters innovation and pushes the boundaries of battery technology, leading to faster charging times and potentially longer ranges. This, in turn, could alleviate range anxiety, a major hurdle for EV adoption, 
and make electric cars a more attractive option for a wider range of consumers. Ultimately, the race to develop better batteries isn't just about individual companies. It's about paving the way for a cleaner and more sustainable transportation future. The potential benefits of faster charging batteries extend far beyond convenience. Imagine a world where electric vehicles can be refueled, or rather recharged, in the same amount of time it takes to fill a gas tank. This could significantly improve the adoption rate of electric cars, leading to a cleaner and more sustainable future. Additionally, faster charging times could open up new possibilities for electric car usage, such as longer road trips and more frequent commutes without the worry of lengthy charging stops. Now, what exactly do the terms 5C and 6C mean? Well, the C refers to the battery charging multiplier. A 6C rating means the battery can be charged at a rate six times its capacity. Imagine you have a typical electric car battery with a capacity of around 75 kWh. With a 6C charging rate, that battery could theoretically be charged with a whopping 450 kilowatts of power. That's enough energy to boil a gallon of water in a matter of seconds. However, it's important to understand that these are theoretical maximums. In reality, several factors can affect the actual charging speed, such as the battery's temperature, its age, and the capabilities of the charging infrastructure. Here's where the C rating comes in. It gives us a general idea of how quickly a battery can be charged under ideal conditions. So, a 6C battery could be charged six times in one hour, or roughly every 10 minutes per full charge. This is a significant improvement over today's most common charging speeds, which typically range from 1C to 3C. For example, a 1C charging rate for a 75 kWh battery would take a whole hour to charge the car from empty to full. Here's an analogy to make it even clearer. Think of filling a swimming pool with water. A 1C charging rate would be like using a garden hose. It would take a very long time. A 6C charging rate, on the other hand, would be like using a high-powered fire hose. It would fill the pool much faster. This technology isn't just about convenience. It could be a game-changer for electric vehicles. Currently, many EV owners face range anxiety where they worry about running out of power before reaching a charging station. Faster charging times could significantly reduce this anxiety, making EVs a more attractive option for longer journeys. Additionally, faster charging infrastructure could lead to shorter stops at charging stations, making EVs more competitive with gas-powered cars. However, there are also some challenges to consider. Upgrading the electrical grid to handle the immense power demands of 6C charging could be expensive and time-consuming. Additionally, the safety implications of such high-powered charging need to be carefully evaluated. The promise of super-fast charging for electric vehicles is tantalizing, but there's a crucial hurdle to overcome before this vision becomes a reality. The charging infrastructure needs a major upgrade. Currently, the Chinese EV landscape faces a mismatch. Battery manufacturers like KTL are pushing the boundaries with next-generation batteries, boasting 6C charging rates. Yet most public charging stations in China deliver a measly 120 kilowatts of power. To truly unlock the potential of these faster charging batteries, the stations would need to deliver at least 360 kilowatts for 4C or 5C charging, a three-fold increase. Think of it like filling a bathtub. A typical 120 kilowatts charger would be like using a small cup. It would take a very long time. A 360 kilowatts charger needed for faster charging speeds would be more like a powerful showerhead, significantly quicker and more efficient. Several companies are taking steps towards a more robust charging infrastructure. Huawei's launch of a 600 kilowatts ultra-fast charger in February 2024 is a promising sign. So, what's the solution? Bridging this infrastructure gap requires a collaborative effort. Battery manufacturers, car companies, and government agencies need to work together to create a comprehensive plan for upgrading the charging network. In the end, China is doing a lot to make sure that it stays at the top of this EV movement, and it is becoming obvious every day that the West has a lot of catching up to do.